Hey guys, Wet Movie One back here again for yet another Blu-ray DVD hunting video for you guys today. It is November 2020, so that means the Criterion sale, 50% off sale, is happening at Barnes & Noble starting today, uh, which is Friday. So I'm going to be heading on down to my one uh, local Barnes & Noble and uh, see if we can find some cool uh, Criterions to pick up and, uh, you know, to get that good deal on some of that good stuff. But uh, hopefully I can come across The Irishman uh, on Blu-ray over there. That's, my, that's one of the main titles uh, I'm looking for today. But if you enjoy my videos in, in any capacity, please hit that thumbs up button. Let's see if we can get this video up to over 400 thumbs up. But also I got to take a stop off at the post office uh, to check, check the P.O. box and stuff like that. But when I get back home, I have this box, this little package actually, uh, to unbox for you guys. That's the one I'm shipping off. This is the one I'm going to be opening at the end of this video. Oh yeah, so stay tuned for that. We finally arrived to the only Barnes & Noble in my area. Hopefully we find something cool up in there. Well guys, we just got in here now looking at the for the Criterion 50% off sale that they got going. Hopefully we can come across some um, decent deals in here today. Trying to, like I said, trying to see if we can find um, uh, the Irishman on, on Blu-ray, but who knows, because this, this, um, this Barnes and Noble doesn't carry a, a, a big, a wide selection of a like uh, the certain one I used to go to uh, back in the day, back in my old uh, my old area. This, this section over here is a little bit smaller, but uh, yeah, this one right here is actually okay. My own private Idaho. I haven't seen this movie uh, in a while, and this is one of the uh, Keanu Reeves's early uh, early flicks right here. So this may be this may be a possibility. This may be a possibility right there. But here's a recommendation. I think I told you guys about before. Uh, I want to hold your hand. Now, this is a DVD version, but there's also a Blu-ray one. This is this is a great flick right here. I believe it was um from the same people that did uh you know Back to the Future. We're, we're behind this one right here. So if you guys have ever seen this one or haven't, I highly suggest you guys checking that one out. And this is one of the ones I bought in, at a previous sale. Uh, it's a mad, 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 mad world. Great, great flick right there about people trying to go race for money. But as you guys can see, they do have a good amount of ones here, but just not as a, a big, crazy, uh, big, crazy amount of stuff like some other stores that I've been to uh, when, when it comes to the Criterions and things. Here's a film I've, I've seen once, but I could never really get into. I, I, can't, I always have trouble getting into David Lynch's films, but I may have to give this one a rewatch one day. I just may have to. But uh, it's been a while since I've even I even checked that one out right there. But uh, just hopefully we come across something decent up in here today. Hey, that's not a criterion. Who put that there? And guys, here's another recommendation for you guys today. This is one of my very first criterions I ever got uh, back in the day. The Ice Storm, uh, a film by Ang Lee. The only reason I got this one back in the day, because it had Christina Ricci in it and stuff. And this kind of had that vibe of like the big chill. But like, you know, uh, I think from like a decade, a decade later, uh, you know, kind of film. If you guys ever seen The Big Chill, it's kind of like a, you know, a slow moving, you know, uh, cozy, cozy kind of feel of a movie. Some, you know, dramatic stuff happens in it. But if you've never seen The Ice Storm, I, I say I recommend it. But when it comes to the Criterion sale, uh, this go around, I came across two things I'm going to get. But uh, sad to say. One of them is uh, not the Irishman, because they uh, didn't have one uh, over here, unless they have one in the front somewhere. But uh, I guess we'll find out. Well guys, just got out of Barnes & Noble right there, picked up two titles uh, right here, which I'll show you guys at the end of this video. But right now, let's head on over to the post office. Just getting to the post office right now. Let's head on in, check the P.O. box first. All right guys, let's check and see if there's anything in here today. Ooh, what's this? What does this mean? What is this? Well, I guess I have to. I guess I'm gonna take this up to the front. That's the only thing that was in there. I just shipped off my package and found out what that uh, letter was inside my my PO box. It's this. What is this? I'm definitely gonna have to go home and uh, unbox this. This came from one of you guys, so. Let's go home and find out what this is. Well everyone, I'm back home now for my outing adventure going to the Criterion sale at Barnes & Noble. Uh, 
just like I said, just got back with this big old thing. But before I get to the packages uh, and unbox these right here, let me show you guys what I picked up at the Criterion 50% off sale today for December. Uh, this one right here I picked up just because it's been like, you know, I've been looking at it for the last like couple sales and I just like finally jumped up on it. I really don't know much about it and it's called Day Trippers uh, here on Blu-ray. Uh, looks like it could be kind of fun, hopefully. If it is, you know, I'll let you guys know in the, in the future video. That was $19.99, you know, with the 50% off sale going on because it's usually for, it's usually 40. But this one right here really looks interesting. I really like uh, James Earl Jones. He's one of my favorite actors ever since I saw him in um, Roots and in um, uh, you know the Sandlot, you know, from from back when. But this one right here is Claudine uh, on Blu-ray. It also um, uh, you know, I think I think in this movie he plays like a trash man and it comes across a woman that has a, a, a handful of kids that's struggling and things like that. It looks like it could be an interesting film, a uh, movie by John Barry and stuff right there. So that's what I picked up from the Criterion sale today. Uh, but before I get to that big one I just got from my P.O. box, uh, let's open up this package that was sent to me from Lionsgate Home Entertainment that came today uh, at my front door. Let's see, it's kind of hefty. It's kind of a hefty thing. Oh, it's like a big set. Whatever it is, it's one of those big things. Oh, and it's uh, Schitt's Creek, uh, the complete series here uh, on DVD. I believe this is like, an, uh, is it a Netflix original show? I believe. And uh, yeah, Lionsgate just put out the complete series. You know, in that, one, in that, in that way they uh, do the DVD sets these days on the, on the stacked, you know, kind of, uh, you know, big case uh, thing. Uh, it says, uh, winner of nine Emmy Awards. Uh, right here, the stars, of course, um, Eugene, Eugene Levy and uh, the lady that played the mom uh, in um, uh, Home Alone. Home Alone. I can't, I, can't, I, can't, I can't picture her name right now for some reason. Uh, but it has 28 hours and 42 minutes of goodness. The show lasted from 2015 to 2020. Uh, I have yet to see an episode of this in my life, but uh, I definitely will and let you guys know my thoughts on it whenever I do in a future uh, hoarding up video, at the, you know, in the review portion and stuff. But thank you, Lionsgate, uh, for sending this on over. Let's see what the, when this one comes out. This one comes out on uh, uh, November 10th, tw 2020, uh, right here. But thank you, Lionsgate, uh, for sending me a copy of uh, Schitt's Creek, the complete series on DVD. I think you can watch the show on Netflix in HD, I believe. But uh, now, let's figure out what this is. This feels like, it's like, you know, it's, I think it's a frame. And this may be coming from a viewer I was talking to, uh, you know, uh, on Instagram that's an, that's an artist. And uh, he said he wanted to send me something, and uh, I'll definitely have a link for his uh, his uh, you know Instagram uh, right here on the screen, and uh, a link for it in the description box. But uh, yeah, let's open this up and see. I don't know if I should pain you guys in, in the process of sitting me sitting here seeing seeing me try to cut through the tape and everything like that. But uh, I'm gonna cut through the tape, and then let's see what this is. Uh, without having to waste all this time cutting the tape on video. Let's go. I gotta be careful with it because I don't want to ruin whatever it is uh, that's in here. Well guys, I'm still working on trying to open this right here. It looks like it's like an art piece of uh, some sort. I can see a picture uh, of myself right here and a little bit of like some of the crew it looks like. But this, I, I'm, still, I'm still struggling trying to get it open because I don't want to ruin anything. But we do have a note right here. It says, Wet Movie 1, Hey Bro, Hope. Hope you like the the painting uh, I, I created. Uh, cool towards seeing where you you hang. Oh, he wants to know where I hang it. So I'm having trouble uh, looking at the reading this thing. All the best, uh, JJ. All the best, JJ. His Instagram handle uh, is right there. If you guys want to follow him, of course I have a link for it in the description box for an easier uh, easier way to find him on Instagram. He's an artist. Hell yeah, dude. I got I got a Give me a couple more, I gotta, you know, try to crack into this because there's like tape everywhere and I don't want anything to get ripped off. Anything. This looks killer though. It's, it, it smells like paint. Like you can like smell the paint. Two hours later. Still, <laughs> still working on getting it completely out of the package. It looks like there's like a little damage like on the corner from shipping uh, right here. But uh, that's just what happens. Cause I, think this, I think he sent this from all the way from the UK or something like that. I think, it's, I think he's from the UK. But dude, this is amazing looking, dude. Well, okay, okay, I finally got it out of all this, uh, you know, protective stuff in here. Wow. Wait, what is that? Is that another, is that a damage thing or is that part of the painting? Dude, this is killer. Holy shit. 
Let, I'm gonna give. I'm gonna let you guys have a closer look at this, and I think he has a note on the back here as well, which I'm gonna I'm gonna read off real quick. Let me see. Let me see if I can read this off real quick before I show you a closer look. It says, "For my pal Brendan, uh, Wet Movie One. Hope you like this painting. I love your videos, bro. Looking forward to seeing the video uh, on your YouTube channel of the painting." And then he signed it and put his Instagram handle on it. Dude, this is killer, dude. This is killer. Here, I'm gonna give you guys. I'm gonna give you guys a closer look at this thing. Holy shit! Look at this thing. It has like wet, it has like little hidden things everywhere. Like it has Wet Movie One. And like kind of graffiti and another wet movie. It's like little hidden things you have to look at and see. You know, throughout this thing, we got like Danny, OGP, the Fluffy Gamer, and I. When we went to Vegas, we got like a picture of myself in there with a the Freddy glove. We got a picture of me and uh, Edward Furlong uh, in here. I don't know if this is part of the painting, this thing right here, or is this part of the tape or something? I'm not sure because I was being careful. Like Ken, you know, me and uh, Kel Mitchell, dude. It's like a whole bunch of cool. You know, cool things to look at on this painting, dude. Like, of course, it's Felissa Rose right there. Me unbubbling some packages. Pictures. There's, like, pictures everywhere. Like, Kevin Smith and Jason Mewes. Me in the video store. There's, like, all these different little hidden things, dude. You know, like, in this painting. This is rad. Holy shit. Definitely, guys, check out his um, Instagram page. He's a killer, killer artist. Look at this, dude. Holy shit. This is amazing. And what is this? Oh, it says like wet movie one up there or backwards. There's like all sorts of like little tiny, tiny hidden things. You know, it's kind of like if you're looking at a, um, the painting in Mallrats. You know, and you look close like, I see a sailboat. You know, kind of thing. It's one of those things. This is great. Holy shit. Hey mom, mm -hmm. come, come with me. Mm -hmm. Do you want to see what was uh, sent to the P.O. box today? Yes. Check this shit out. Check this out right there. It's an art piece, and it has, if you look real closely, there's like little hidden things in there. Like if you look closely, there's like, you know, it says like Wet Movie 1 and like different spot, different places. There's like different pictures of me and the crew and different people in oh, there. Oh, yeah, huh. Effie? That's kind of cool, huh? Yeah. Like me and Jay and Silent Bob and mm -hmm. everybody. I think, that's, I think that's pretty rad. Yeah. It's like one of those things you, you have to like st you, so if you yeah. stare at it long enough, you, you'll see things that you probably didn't see before. Say, what does this say? 1982? Yeah, yeah, 1982. Yeah, it has my, it has my birthday on it. 1982 yeah. on there. I didn't even notice that until now. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it has like me and Felissa Rose and Kel yeah, Mitchell and stuff. And... Yeah. Isn't that cool? Yeah, it is. Yeah. That's really very nice. That must have taken a lot of work. Yeah, I know. That is, I that can't is. Do that. That's for sure. No, I know. I, I, yeah, I just wanted to show you this thing. To, 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 me, to me, this is badass. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. You guys let me know what you guys think about this art piece right here. Holy shit. This is cool as hell. Just, thank you very much, JJ. This is, this is some really surprising, awesome art you have right here, dude. I'm definitely going to find a spot in the, in the, you know, the wet movie uh, casa over here uh, to put it somewhere, definitely. Well... I found a spot for it in my room, right here. I was gonna put some vinyls, not vinyls, but um, you know, like signed um, laser discs and stuff here. But I think this one makes for a better, a better fit. I think this one makes for a better fit, right next to a little bit of movies I do have in my room now. Hell yeah, dude. JJ, you're the man. Uh, link to his Instagram is in the description box. I'll also have like a, I'll probably flash his name, uh, his Instagram name up on the screen throughout the video. But uh, make sure you guys follow him and let him know that you, uh, that I sent you from my video here. Holy shit, JJ. That was super cool. But guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys are going to be picking up at this Criterion sale this time, this time around. And I'll catch you guys next time. And remember, if you guys ever want to send anything to my P.O. Box, my P.O. Box address is down below in the description box of all my videos, and I'll open up whatever you send on camera. Thanks, guys, for watching and for supporting, and I'll catch you next time. Holy shit.